Try one more time. <laughs> I'm going to keep on trying. I'm not a quitter. Anybody you out there quitting? I want to hear if you can hear me. Good. Andrew, welcome. You what? Haha, <laughs> Jake, see? I'm never going to give up. That's the way I roll. All right, let's get some questions here. Let's get this going. I am so sorry about that. Come and join me. We got some in everybody going. Welcome. Thank you, Jake. Santana, are you really there? Why don't you Santana? I see your name Hello. there. Hi. How are you? What's up? You got I'm good. Good. You got a question for me. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. Where are you from? I'm from Nepal. Oh, beautiful Nepal. Do you have a question for me, my friend? Yeah, I think All I'm right. so excited to meet you. I have been following you for a, for a very long Oh, thank you so much. What are you most curious about? If you've been following me, you got to have a question for me. Actually, I have some ideas about the startups ideas. How can I execute my ideas? Great. Number 1, you know, there's more than an idea. What we have to do is attach and it and uh connect the dots backwards to revenue. So, in order to start a business, there's a million great ideas. What I find I was just with a young entrepreneur named Colin Jacobs. Look look him up. Uh and he's one of the best young entrepreneurs, a 30 under 30 Forbes guy, but he is a genius of finding a need, coming up with a good idea. He uh went to a bar and they had 16 ounce beers and he realized he was just turned 21 how nobody's beer was finished and it, because it always got warm. So he reverse engineered a business and now he has over a 30 million dollar business. because he created a cooler for big beers. Uh, you know, there's a variety of people that reverse engineer according to money their business. So, take your idea, connect the dots backwards and figure out how you can make money from it and then you have a startup and you can either create a business plan, ask for help, raise money, but it's always the money, the guarantee of the return on investment that will uh guarantee your success, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you my friend from Nepal. Good to see you. Thank you. That's Roshan. Keep the questions coming. We're going to have a good time here tonight. How can I be of service to you? Let's see here. My favorite question, how can I be of service to you? You know, we are trying to help as many people as we can on a mission. Uh if you can share my content, do good deeds, uh come to my training on Fridays. Uh we are getting overloaded and it's so nice. Uh those trainings are awesome. I have free trainings on Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. really want to get everybody on so invite your friends if you need a link go ahead reach out to me 949 2982905 or dmelzer.com or david melzer here anywhere just reach out let's get everybody there how can we join your mentorship uh go ahead we're trying to work on building a group uh mentorship program as well i have one on one executive training uh but i need something with all the requests for everybody. So, working on developing your thoughts, reach out to me 949 2982905. Uh, you can go ahead and 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 pop that as well. Drive dollar down martial law vaccination. <laughs> nice. No question in here. Here we go. Guys, let's see here. Uh What advice can you give on starting an Amazon business? Uh wow. Uh same thing, reverse engineer it. I mean, go and look at the rankings on Amazon, see what similarities and capabilities and supplementary capabilities you have to products that are already selling. Uh if you have a specific product that you have or one that you can distribute, make sure that it's selling and that you either get uh the box and market correctly and have the budget to market or have a unique product to serve a need. Uh I think I see Santana there. Let's go. I'd love to see her. Come on, where are you? Uh Anyway, let's uh get somebody else new on here. Jesse, I don't think I've had you on. Welcome everybody. By the way, Posh, welcome. So nice to see you, Blaine. Best tips to deal with anxiety. 
that's my boy. Uh, best tips to deal with anxiety are focus in on the four things that you can control. The one thing is your mindset. So focus in on the mindset that you have. Two is what you're saying and hearing. So make sure you're controlling the people and the ideas that you're surrounding yourself and what you're saying and hearing with those people and ideas. Uh, control your feelings. Um, and then finally, your actions. So those are the four things that can bring certainty because you have complete control of those four things. Let's see what else we have. Uh, what do you do when you're tired of consistently posting content? <laughs> wow. Um, I don't know because for me, if uh, I'm not going to do anything that I can't learn to love to do. Let me repeat that. I I can't learn to love to do. And so if I can't learn to love it, uh, then I'm not going to do it. Notice I said learn to love it. And I make it a practice of learning to love all the things that I do. Activity I get paid for, activity I don't get paid for. Learn to love what you do. And uh, if you can't learn to love consistently creating quality content and posting it, then don't do it. Uh, but there you know, are so many great things that uh, happen from consistently uh, posting quality content and sending out your frequency and knowing that it gains strength and you're widening in your spectrum and hopefully clarifying your message as well, uh, which isn't always easy. Let's uh, see who else wants to come on here. Um, oh, we got a lot of people here. Sorry. <laughs> Let's get them on here. Anyway, how can I sell mattress and furniture? Oops. Moving too fast there. Uh, all righty. Let's see here. Let's get another question. I'm not sure. Any tips on how to get started as a student of your calendar? Yeah. What is this? A layup for me? So one of the hardest things in my company and for myself to do is to study my calendar every day. The three things to study in your calendar are what you have planned, what you don't have planned, and sleep. Uh, you have to use a lens of productivity, accessibility, and gratitude. The question, though, is how do I start doing it? You know, lower the bar. You know, the best way to do it is tell yourself you're going to do it a minimum of one minute a day. Or just tell yourself, you know, instead of studying your calendar, that you're just at a minimum every day are going to get into the habit and discipline of looking at your calendar uh, with the hopes and dreams of someday studying those three areas of your calendar. So when we lower the bar to something that we should be able to do, putting reminders everywhere and having other people remind us, we have increased our statistical success of creating any habit, have accountability partners, have reminder systems, write it down, put it as your uh, wallpaper on things. You know, there's so many different ways, but the ego is going to push as hard as it can to not allow you to change. It's not going to allow you to create a habit. The ego doesn't like change, right? It is the antithesis of a wet baby. It hates change. And the ego is always going to push you not to create a new habit that improves you, expands you, because it doesn't like change. Because change is uncertainty. Change creates fear, anxiety, frustration. And so the ego is always the nemesis uh, to all habits and all disciplines. And so we need to outwit the ego by creating reminders and accountability partners and lowering the bar just so we can effectuate the activity because nothing happens until you move, until you start, uh, especially being a student in your calendar. Uh, so let's see if we can go live real quick. Uh, just having a good time here waiting for Justin. Let's see if we can hit you there, Justin. Jay, welcome. Welcome, Joe, as well. Hey, there he is. David Meltzer. How are Got you? Got on it. How are you, sir? <laughs> That's great, man. I'm doing great on a Saturday night. I mean, man, I mess a couple times. I get a couple answers. Oh, I'm good. I just, uh, I'm doing college now online. And um, it's a change. I'll tell you that. It's, it's different. Professors are, you know, they're, it's, you know, it's an interesting adjustment to, to, uh, to people and stuff like that it's a, and you know wait it's now i have a choice of when to get up what like i, I can skip anything i wanted to if i feel like it I feel oh like come on that's just like real college 
That's just like real college. Right. You can skip whatever you want. Let's get real, man. Right, right. <laughs> well, I, I feel like a lot of, I mean, I can just, I can just fail now and, it, and no one would have, you know what I mean? No one's watching me. Yeah. I think it's full integrity now of what I do. So I just, I've been keeping up with the content, uh, keeping a good schedule and just doing what I got to do. I've been wa doing a lot of content, reading books. I, uh, been, you know, I've been, um, who do I follow? I just read that Jason Kalipa book. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, AMRAP Mentality. That's what that is. Oh, read. right on. Hey, that what, uh, book. so you're reading a lot. You're watching podcasts, listening to stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give me the, the question. Give me a question. Right give me a now? question for the day so I can help. Question for the day, man. What do you do when. <clears throat> When you encounter people all around you that are not where what, with what your goals are, like I feel like I during yeah. college, ninety nine percent of the people around me don't have the goals I have. Not more oh. ninety nine, like almost everyone. Yeah, well, it's not going to get any better either. So that's a great awareness to have at such a young age. So here's the things that I do is that you know I I started to realize that I'm not going to surround myself with the wrong people, the wrong ideas. I will understand those people. I'll pray for their happiness, but I'm going to be the aggregate of the five people that I spend the most time with. And if there's specific people uh, that, you know, are at a lower vibration or just there to have fun, look, that's fine, right? Like, it's cool if you have a golf buddy, a party yeah. buddy, you know, I called it my Jaeger buddy, you know, someone that likes to go out and do a couple of Jaeger shots every once in a while. But the majority right. of my time, it's not, it's not where you play, it's where you live. And you don't want to live with those clowns, right? You can play with those clowns every once in a while, but you don't want to live at a lower vibration. You don't want to allow those people to bring you down. You're young. You want to experience things. You want to try things, test them out, right. learn your lessons. I'm all for it, even for my own kids. But, you know, show me your friends, and I'll show you your future. Right. I've always heard, man, like, who you hang around is who you friends. become. Yeah, and that happened to me later in life and cost me millions of dollars uh, surrounding myself with the wrong people right, and the I, wrong I was, idea. I heard your story, yeah. So That's show me crazy, your friends yeah. and I'll show you your future. Hey, keep that mind open, man. Mm -hmm. I love the yeah. fact you're not limiting your point of entry. You're also illuminating. you got such old school wisdom in you. If you ever need anything, keep reaching out. I know that you've DM me a few times. Anytime, I'll help you. Thank you, my brother. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, SBA loans. Uh, somebody said you get SBA loans. Look, take advantage of the opportunities that the government has given us. You've paid a lot of taxes. Your family's paid a lot of taxes. Make sure you're creating security, cash, and culture. Remember, two things to consider with investments, time, and tolerance. All kinds of easy things that we can do. Uh, Dave on the economy, I'm an optimist. Buy anything that's oversold. Ask an expert in the field to see if it's oversold specify on spirituality to others oh man spirituality is personal uh it's the way that we are in spirit so how are you connecting uh to that which inspires you uh, i'm on a constant journey to clean that connection to lessen the interference and the corrosion to that connection inspiration not motivation motivation can be done through fear and other things that are temporary. Inspiration is permanent. You're connected to that uh, clear, unbelievable source of energy and power. Uh, let's uh, try to go live with one more person. And then I'm going to watch Caddyshack with my son, I think, or something. Uh, let me try one more time to get Jesse on here. Uh, can I go live? Yeah. Cash and culture for sure. Don't forget, join me Friday with all your friends. Free training. 949-298-2905. Join my community. Get all the updates. Uh, go ahead, man. Go live. Yeah, I'm trying to go live. The connections on uh, Instagram sometimes not the best. And the importance of being spiritual. Everybody's spiritual. We're all spiritual beings having a human journey, right? We, we have a spirit inside of us. And so I think the bigger question is how important it is to clear the connection to that which inspires you. That's the essential and the way that we do it is enjoying, learning to love the consistent, learning to love the persistent without quit, learning to love the pursuit of what? Our potential, what we want at the highest realm. 
right? So learning to love, enjoying, learning to love the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential. That's what it's all about. That's what spirituality is all about. Uh, you caught the caddy shack. That's good. I see you one more time. Try to go uh, live. We got so many requests. Just killing it. Let's see if we can get somebody else with a good connection. Join it. What's up? Love the pursuit, Justin. Thank you for going with me, my brother. Uh, always good. Here, it looks like we got a connection. Hello. Hello. Got to love Instagram today. How you doing? Trey, good to see you on there. What's up, Bat? What's going on, Elijah? I may have to cancel this one if it's not coming up. Okay, with what we have, thank you, everybody. Let's go ahead and do one more question. Uh, uh, let's, give me, let's go live together. Last question. I'm trying, Elijah. I apologize. Not getting there. You can leave me questions here. Um, how could I open up my father's gym facility, but the funds are not there? Okay. Um, if the funds aren't there for a business, then you have a key objective. What would that be? To get the funds. Uh, several ways you can get the funds. One, you can ask for an investor and present a business case that you can't see the reason that you won't want to move forward on. Uh, you can lessen the amount of money that you spend uh, or you can make more money. Uh, specifically, you know, one of my favorite entrepreneurial stories is Josh York. Uh, and he took the position that he was just, he knew exactly how much money it was going to take to open up his gym business the gym guys, and he did whatever it took. He lived in his car. And bet, I don't call it sacrifice. I call it he invested in himself until he saved, I think it was like 15 grand in order to start his first business. Look, you, you either are a person that must be what they can be or you're not. Uh, you know, not everybody has the skills. Not everybody has the knowledge. Uh, but you can develop the skills. You can ask for the knowledge, access the knowledge, but the one thing that I want people to practice is I want you to practice being what you can be. I want you to practice that learning to love or enjoying the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential. That's what that is. It's happiness. And happiness is the most viral disease. It's the one that spreads just by witnessing it here on these videos. And it also strengthens your immune system. I um, hope I'm not too repetitive for too many of you, but it's my life's mission is to empower over a billion people to be happy for a reason. And I think now it's coming more apparent to everybody what that reason is. It's because the power of happiness kicks ass, right? The power of happiness changes. It's abundant in your life. It's all your relationships, and it even keeps you healthy. It keeps you strong. And, of course, it keeps you happy because it's happiness. And so we're going to all together – right? Come together. Come join me on Fridays. Bring all your friends because we are going to teach you how to be happy. We're going to teach you how to learn to love everything you do, the activity you get paid for and the activity you don't get paid for. We're going to teach you how to make a lot of money, help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Another way to be happy. We will prevail. You're right. And that's on there. And that's what we're talking about tonight. That's why I'm jumping on every day, at least once live uh, to do these things. Uh, Thank you, Elijah. I'm going to do one more question, and then it's Caddyshack time. How can I work for you from home? I'm not looking for pay, just experience. All right, anybody wants to work for me for free from home, all you got to do is email me. I'm going to give you my email address, david at dmeltzer.com, all right? And we will sift through and see how your skills, knowledge, and desire are aligned with the culture and the cash component of our business bigger motions of happiness. Uh, thank you for even being interested in working with us and our team. We have an extraordinary team, as you can see. A lot of them came on tonight. Uh, see you out there and uh, appreciate you. Jake, that's right. Friday training, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Everybody, invite your friends. Come join us. It's a awesome time. They're getting better and better. It's just an hour of your day, and it will make you feel good. It will make you feel good. Let me just pin my email address there. Somebody has it up there. So it is david at dmelzer.com. You got it right. Um, so uh, you can go ahead and email me, and we'll get that pinned there. All right, everyone. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow, 
Thank you very much. Thank you for your patience. Uh, do not know why the volume and the live connections aren't always working, but everything happens for the reason and everything will happen at the right way at the perfect time. And the most important thing is you enjoyed this and you're happy. Share, share, share. Go enjoy your families. Find the right ideas, the right people. You guys are awesome. I'll do this any day of the week. You everybody, take care. Enjoy your evening. Remember, be kind to your future self and do good deeds. Thank you.